Hello everyone. Welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one exponential equation, which is from Maths Olympiad. Equation is 10 power x plus 11 power x plus 12 power x equal to 13 power x plus 14 power x. It is very unique kind of exponential equation. So let us start by putting few values of x. I am not going into the solution part. Let's find out if direct answer we can find out. Then we will talk about how it is convergence at one root or one solution. Then we will see the graph also. Let me put x equal to 1 directly. 10 plus 11 plus 12 equal to 13 plus 14. So 10 plus 11 plus 12. 11 plus 12 is 23 plus 10. 33 is equal to 27. No, it is not. x equal to 2. 100 plus 121 plus 144 equal to 169 plus 196. So 121 plus 144, 265 plus 100, 365 it is. And right side it is 69 plus 96 to 165 plus 200, so 365. It is true. That means one thing is for sure that x equal to 2 is one solution. How many other solutions are there? So we have to find out that answer. We will do, we will divide this complete equation by 12 power x. Let us divide. So 10 power x over 12 power x plus 11 power x over 12 power x plus 12 power x over 12 power x 1. 13 power x over 12 power x plus 14 power x over 12 power x. Okay. Now we know one exponent rule that is a power x over b power x is there then we can club this exponent in the division itself so that will convert into a over b power x so i will write 10 over 12 whole power x plus 11 over 12 whole power x plus 1 is equal to 13 over 12 whole power x plus 14 over 12 whole power x. Few points I will put up here. Just try to understand. If I will observe, then you can see this value is in between. Suppose this is a, then this value is lying in between 0 and 1. This is again lying in between 0 and 1. Because numerator is smaller, denominator is bigger. It is proper fraction actually. Now 13 over 12, if you will observe, it is greater than 1. And if you observe 14 over 12, it is again greater than 1. So my point is, if you observe, you are taking graph of exponential function. Left hand side, you are getting that function lying in between 0 and 1. Right hand side, your function is greater than 1. If you remember the graph of a power x, so we used to write like this, if a is greater than 1, it would be a power x graph with nature monotonic increasing. I will explain, just give me one second. And once it is lying in between 0 and 1, means fraction value is there in the base, then its power, if, if suppose it is, you are putting x tending to infinity with fractional value like this. So what will happen to that function? It will converge to, means, con, means value will be 0, flat 0. That means your graph would be a raised to the power x, but nature would be de decreasing. That means you can consider two examples in your mind, 2 raised to the power x and 1 over 2 raised to the power x. See, in one case, it is greater than 1. In second case, it is lying in between 0 and 1. If I will ask you to draw the both graph, this graph and this graph, then you will draw like this. When a is greater than 1, it would be monotonic increasing function always. 
for 2 raised to the power x, your function would be monotonic increasing as you can see. Monotonic increasing. When a is lying in between, so 1 over 2 is lying in between 0 and 1, so that would be monotonic decreasing. Always remember, if a is a fraction, it would be monotonic decreasing. And if a is bigger than 1, greater than 1, function would be monotonic increasing as per our discussion. So, if I conclude this statement, then I can draw one picture. See, because of left hand side, your function is overall decreasing. If you are adding 1, it doesn't matter. Graph will be shifted upward or downward. It doesn't affect actually. So, left hand side, because of your both brackets are fractional value lying between 0 and 1. So, function would be decreasing, monotonic decreasing. And right side, because of brackets are greater than 1, function would be monotonic increase. Now, you can realize one function is dipping down. Another function is rising up. So, how many times you will get intersection? Only single point intersection. Single point intersection you will get. Important conclusion from this explanation is one point intersection you will get from both of the function, both of the sides. That means that you already calculated x equal to 2. Now let us see the second approach. Your function is this 10 power x, 11 power x. I am going to write again 10 over 12 whole power x plus 11 over 12 whole power x plus 1 equal to 13 over 12 whole power x plus 14 over 12 whole power x. Let us consider left hand side is fx right hand side is gx. What I am trying to do, I, I am going to do the first derivative test. You can say maximum minima critical points calculation. Only need to find out f dash x and g dash x. Okay, f dash x will be equal to derivative of d over dx of a power x is a power x ln a. This is what we know. Okay, I will apply that. f dash x means 10 over 12 whole power x into ln 10 over 12 plus 11 over 12 whole power x into 11 over 12 and one derivative is 0. Now come to g dash x. Same way I will write a power x that means 13 over 12 whole power x ln 13 over 12 plus 14 over 12 whole power x ln 14 over 12. Now important point is, see a raised to the power x will be always positive, always greater than 0, so no concern at all. Let me change this color so that you can easily see. This bracket is positive, this bracket is positive, positive, positive. Now come to ln part, ln 10 over 10, 12, where means I am talking about number which is in fraction. So, you will write by the division or quotient rule ln 10 minus ln 12. So, that would be negative. If fraction is there, means numerator is smaller, denominator is bigger, ln value would be negative. So, this is negative, negative. In, in this case, your numerator is bigger, always positive. So, you are adding two positive numbers. So, result would be positive. Here result would be negative. You are adding two negative numbers. Plus times minus is minus. You are adding with again minus. So minus plus of minus, minus minus addition minus. F dash x is a negative. Do you know what does it mean? F dash x is negative. Means monotonic decreasing function. This is what we already know. And F dash, g dash x is positive. That means monotonic increasing function. So, second opinion, you can conclude your sentence from here. Because of f dash x is negative, function would be decreasing, dipping down. This is for fx. And second way, this is gx. 
your f g dash x is coming out positive so that would be monotonic increasing this would be monotonic decreasing only one point intersection that is this and this point is already we calculated x equal to 2 one more point you can think about if someone is dividing by 11 13 12 10 then what will happen to it you can think about if suppose someone is dividing this equation by 14 power x so 10 power x over 14 power x 11 power x over 14 power x 12 power x over 14 power x equal to 13 power x over 14 power x plus 1 you can write answer for this or if you want to say something about this use comment box right there see what is happening exactly i am not going to solve using this method also 10 over 14 so i will write ultimately 10 over 14 whole power x it is less than means lying in between 0 and 1 here you can also see lying in between 0 and 1 lying in between 0 and 1 lying in between 0 and 1 also now what you will do you have to give me answer of that in comment box what approach you will follow for this you have to answer me see why i am saying see left hand side would be decreasing function you can see because 10 over 14 11 over 14 12 over 14 always lies in between 0 and 1 now come to right hand side this one is only shifting your graph upward or downward if suppose this is your graph so plus 1 will take your graph to one unit upward direction it is not going to change its nature monotonic increasing or decreasing now right hand side is only having function 13 over 14 power x that means function is decreasing how you will solve so you cannot comment one function is dipping down another is also dipping down so you don't know at what point or how it will be it it won't intersect again so write me in comment box now come to the graph you can see easily 10 over 12 par x that is red color graph your fx and this blue color graph is your gx graph conclusion is there already we discussed a lot this is increasing function let me change this color so that and see fx is having decreasing in nature is strictly monotonic decreasing so you are getting one point intersection that is at x equal to 2 no further more discussion our solution is x is equal to 2 and that is ultimate solution and this is the only solution i hope you like this video please do subscribe my channel thanks a lot